We live in an age where if you dream of being a superstar, but maybe you don't have access to expensive studios or cameras or professional producers, you can still live that dream through a digital clone of yourself. In this video, I'm going to be breaking down all the steps in not just creating an AI artist, but creating one that sounds just like you. As always, we're not going to waste any time. This is AI in a nutshell. So, obviously, before we get into anything music related, we first got to create the music, right? But this time, our journey doesn't start in an AI music generator. It actually starts off in Fruity Loops. And don't worry if you don't have Fruity Loops. Anything that can create a melody of your choosing will work for this. Or better yet, Suno Studio. But I'm having some issues with my account in Suno. Um, I currently can't use my account. Um, we're in the process of fixing that. But in the meantime, I'm going to create my melody that I have in mind um, down here in Fruity Loops. And the reason for that is in an AI music generator, although you can write the song, you can't control what the melody will sound like unless you start off here. And don't worry if you don't understand yet, you'll get it soon enough. Um, so down here in Fruity Loops, I am going to click on here and say insert. I'm going to say more plugins and I'm going to say flex. And down here, I really like star star something i'm not sure star theme and bring that down open piano roll so i'm going to make sure it's at the right bpm And don't worry if it's not something that's perfect. Um, you don't need it to be perfect at all. You just need to get it such that the AI music generator we're going to use can understand the melody that you are going with. We don't need to use fancy instruments or, you know, fancy production techniques. And for the lyrics, I wrote down the song on here. Um, and I already prepared everything for an AI music generator. Um, it's all good to go. I'm going to record this song. It's going to sound horrible, but don't worry. It'll make sense in a minute. Everything is working together for my good, for my good, yeah. Everything is working together for my good, for my good, yeah, yeah. I'm feeling real good right now. I feel a big show right now. Cause I'm way up, I'm blessed. If you want it, baby, I could get it, no stress. You ain't gotta stress. <laughs> Enough of that. Um, and to show you how easy this is, I recorded this entire thing in uh, Premiere Pro. Just to show you, you do not necessarily need a door to do this and i changed the instrument that we used at the beginning just because i want the song to come more closer to this type of sounding instrument everything is working together for my good all right so you can hear for yourself how horrendous that sounds um but actually that's all that we need i'm going to export the song and now you just need to open up any ai music generator that knows how to reference audio and again i would use sooner for this but i can't right now so i'm going to use ace studio and now i'm going to drag the song we just recorded onto ace and i'm going to play it so you can hear it's the one everything i'm going to make sure it's selected right click on it ai tools and then on music enhancer make sure it's select the whole song and i'm click continue and now it's analyzing the whole song it's gonna write down the lyrics on here and i'm gonna just edit the style great and it's all done here are my lyrics on here and here are the styles and i'm gonna just edit this to say a trap afro beats fusion track everything is working together for my good for my good yeah. everything is working together 
gonna play it at the end um but i love what it's come up with here already now as good as that sounds it doesn't quite sound like me because currently we don't have really good ai music generators that can generate music in your own voice i'm looking at you soon no. but we do have tools that allow you to take your ai generated song and swap the vocals with your own voice. And the best one I've found that does this is Controller. Now I've already done a full tutorial on Controller, but for those of you who didn't watch that video, I'm gonna quickly run you through it again. On here, we're gonna hover here on my controller, click on it, then click on swap voice. And on here, we have two options. We can click here on instant clone, and this will allow you to quickly train your voice you can upload like 15 seconds of your own voice into it now although that sounds really great i mean like 15 seconds it is the one that is least accurate and although it will try to sound like you it won't be as good as the studio models so you're gonna click here on select a voice or instrument and i'm gonna click here on create voice now from here you can record your own vocals from within the platform now from here you can click on um, headphone ready and you can use this to monitor the sound levels of your room which is really really handy you can see mine is way too noisy um but i'm just doing this to show you guys how this works i'm not actually going to use this method um so i'm gonna let it go down to good then click my room is ready and from there you can train your voice into the ai by singing songs that it's provided for you in a sort of karaoke style which is really really cool i really love that but for me i just find it so much easier to sing songs separately and then upload them onto the tool so i'm gonna go back and i'm gonna say upload clean vocals now here make sure you're following all of this and i'm gonna say my files meet the standard and i'm gonna upload it on here and there we go i've uploaded all of my vocals and i'm gonna say create voice now from there you just have to name your voice i'm gonna say tt new again then agree to their policy and then create now like i said i've already done this in a previous video so i'm not gonna do it again but yeah this will take a couple of minutes to train the model on your voice and now we're ready to swap the voice of our vocalist from the song we generated earlier um to my vocals and to do that uh, i'm just gonna get out of here click on swap voice again i'm gonna upload the song on here and when it's doing that i'm gonna select a voice i'm gonna say tt and i'm gonna tell it that this is the full song with music and over here we have some advanced settings that you can play around with you can play around with the slider for the accent and for the consonants the volume dynamic and the pitch accuracy as always as with every ai tool just play around with these until you get something that you like i'm going to click on save i'm not going to change anything i'm going to say swap voice great and it's all done here's what it sounds like the fam good, the bank good, my mama good, uh, then now I'm going. I'm moving like Drake in the spot, uh, cause I do it, no, no, friends, uh, yeah. Now, as I was doing this, I actually came up with an idea because I really love the vocalist, the original vocalist of the song. So I came up with an idea to have him sing the chorus and my vocals sing the verse. Only problem is that my vocals sound way drier than the original vocals that we got when we generated the song, which is a great thing if you want more control over your song in terms of what effects you can add um, and how you want the song to sound overall. But really bad if you're someone like me who knows nothing about mixing or mastering, especially vocals. Um, but yeah, we're going to give it a try anyways. A lot of you watching this will be able to do this part way, way better than me. So the first thing we're going to do is separate the vocals from the track, right? So we're going to get the original vocals on their own and we're going to get my vocals on their own separate from the beat. So I'm going to download the song with my vocals on it. Then I'm going to download the original again. Now I'm going to go to split stems. I'm going to paste in the one with my vocals. 
And in here on Select Stems, I'm going to say I want the lead vocal. And done. Now I'm going to say Split Stems. And it's all done to get our vocals. I'm just going to click on it. And here where it says lead vocals. Surprise. Bow pain a red this mic, no flares. Now just repeat that same step with the original vocals. And I've already pulled everything over here in Fruity Loops. So here's our sounds currently. You can hear it sounds so much more drier when it gets here. So we're just going to add a bit more reverb. I'm going to click on it, give it a track. Going to add Fruity Reverb. I'm up, I'm you can hear it already sounds way better. Now what I'm going to do is add Fresh Air. Really cool plugin as well. And you can already hear it sounds way, way better. And that's coming from someone who doesn't even know anything, again, about mixing and mastering vocals. So a lot of you guys who already know a lot about this will, oh, I can only imagine what you guys will be able to do with this. Great, and now the song is in exactly my vocals. It's time to create our AI artist. Now I have way too many topics on this channel on this topic a lot of you have found this channel um through a tutorial on how to create an ai artist so i'm not going to run through all of that again and have this video be an hour long but here's the quick rundown firstly head to ella marina or google ai studio whichever one you pick the point is to use nano banana now upload a picture of yourself and i'm going to put in this prompt to get this image it's going to be one of the first scenes in my music video. And I'm going to repeat this process again until I have all my scenes for my song, my music video, or my performance. From there, you can use any AI video generator of your choice to actually animate the scenes. I'm using the most popular one in this case, which is Hilo AI. And once you've animated all your scenes, you're going to need to lip sync the parts where your character is actually singing to the camera. I went with design for this tutorial. And once you've got all your lip syncing scenes done, just put it all together in Premiere Pro. And here's what we got. <laughs> Before you go watching that, um, remember to subscribe to the channel. Comment down below uh, if you have any questions and like this video. All those things really, really help out this channel. Really helps me out. It's the quickest, freest way to support what we do here at AI in a nutshell. So yeah, click, click, click that subscribe button. And yeah, without wasting any more time, here's what we've made. Let's go. Everything is working together. 